name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today I'm going to be going over the quadratus lumborum, also known as the QL muscle. It is an important core muscle, so I would definitely pay attention to the video. So what I'm going to be going over is the origin and insertion, followed by the functions, and then finally providing you an exercise or two so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So let's get started with the location of the muscle so we know exactly what we're talking about and then we'll build on from there. What I'm going to do, just to kind of make sure that I have enough space on my camera, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here or step in closer to the camera and pinpoint it out on my body while I'm describing it to you. And then I'm going to go ahead and provide you the illustration so you know exactly where this muscle is. So, getting started, the quadratus lumborum is originated or started from the posterior inner lip of the iliac crest. Okay, your iliac crest is your top of your hip bone. Okay, so now we're looking on the posterior surface, so that back surface here, but on the inner lip. Okay, so it's on the inside of that iliac crest. Okay, and then it inserts onto approximately half of the lower 12th rib, which is right about in here along with the transverse processes of the lower four lumbar vertebrae. So L1 through L4, that's where uh, those transverse processes are. Um, that's where this muscle is ended or connected to on those transverse processes along with that 12th rib. So just to make sure that there's no confusion, because I know I seemed uh, kind of confusing whenever I was trying to describe it. So just so that there's no confusion, I'm going to go ahead and provide you the illustration. So here's your illustration. Okay everybody, so now that you know exactly where this muscle is located, now I can move on to its functions. This muscle has five different functions. The first function and probably the most important is stabilization of your lumbar spine and your pelvis. Okay, it's going to help keep that spine where it's supposed to be along with your pelvis. Okay, and now moving on to the second function, we're looking at lateral flexion. Okay, to one side or the other. Okay, so lateral flexion is just bending our upper body to one side. So whenever we do this, we create a stretch on this side, and whenever we come up, we are using this QL muscle, or the this would be my left QL muscle, in order to bring myself back up. Okay, so whenever I bend over, I'm stretching that muscle, and then if I continue to go over, it would continue over into lateral flexion. So that is lateral flexion. The other function, the third function, would be anterior pelvic tilt. Now, anterior pelvic tilt is whenever you see people stick their butt out. A lot of people have the lower cross syndrome, and they have tight hip flexors and weak glutes. So, you're going to see um, that butt stick out. If they had a neutral pelvis, it would look something like this. This is anterior pelvic tilt. And this is posterior pelvic tilt, okay? So anterior pelvic tilt, that is the movement of the pelvis we're going to see from this particular muscle, okay? So the fourth function is extension of the lumbar spine. So we're looking at extension. Again, I'm kind of exaggerating that, but we're concentrating on this lower portion. Okay, things like Superman and uh, swimmers and things like that are going to help with this. Okay, so again, if you were to bend back like so, the QL muscle is doing this along with other muscles, of course, but the Q QL muscle does this action. Okay, the fifth and final function of this particular muscle is lateral pelvic rotation. 
Okay, whenever we talk about lateral pelvic rotation, we're just bringing one side of the hip higher than the other. It's similar to the lateral flexion, it's just with the hips. Only The only thing is with this, okay, this side would be working, and then where we scrunch this side, this side would be working. Okay, so now that you know the location and the functions of this muscle, now we can move on to exercises for you. So, here are your exercise examples. Okay, so the first exercise that I'm going to give you is pretty much just like a side raise, which is also the lateral flexion, because it does this best, okay? So whenever we do this, you can either cross your arms like so, and just do lateral flexions, or you can have your arm out here to kind of help, okay? And you could also do this as well, because remember, this, it does the pelvic rotation like so, and it does lateral flexion. So if you do both at the same time, you're going to get the most contraction out of that muscle. Again, it is extremely important that you strengthen this muscle. It is part of the core and it will help stabilize that lumbar spine along with your pelvis. So this is extremely important. Okay, so on to the next exercise. So for my second and final exercise for this video, you can actually use lateral flexions for another exercise. Okay, all I have is just a dumbbell, okay, um, and all you're going to do is bend down, and then you're going to bring it up, okay, down, and bring it up, down, and bring it up, okay, so that is the exercises, um, and that is it for this video, if you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'd be happy and willing to help you or direct you to the appropriate person if you have um, any questions that I cannot answer. But I hope you guys all have a great week and I will see you next.